Okay, here's the next figure. Now, this one, this is getting a bit trickier. You see that this is a rectangle, right? What is a rectangle? Pairs of sides are, are equal. So, this is 8cm. Kung sa tingin mo dito sa ruler mo, this is 8cm. Therefore, on the other side naman, it should also measure 8cm din. Okay? Tapos, the width is 9cm. Okay? So, 9cm ito, di ba? Tingol ko dito. Yeah, 9cm. Then, the other one should also be 9cm din. Okay? Now, look at this. We have a twist. Do you know what's inside the rectangle? Da -da -da -da! Inside the rectangle, you still have a secret figure inside. And that's the triangle. Tingnan mo to, ha? You see three equal marks. So what type of triangle is it? Yup, it's, nice, it's an equilateral triangle. What's an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle is a triangle whose sides and angles all have the same measure. So, kung tingin mo dito, everything 60 degrees, and this is 6 centimeters. Okay? So, everything 6 centimeters. Kung minesha mo with the use of your ruler, ito yun, 6 centimeters dito. Tapos, kung dito naman, 6 centimeters din. Tapos, kung dito naman, at least 6 centimeters din. Okay? Now, to solve for the area, Oh, by the way, what we're trying to solve for this matter is the entire rectangle itself such that it does not include the area of the triangle. Parents, just like solve for the area of the shaded region. When you get to normal schools, ganito yung lalaruin mo. Okay? First of all, it's up to you which shape you want to solve for its area first. But I prefer, let's start off with the rectangle. You might be asking me why rectangle muna kahit na malaki. But either way it works, it depends upon which shape you want to work on first. And then at the latter part, you'll see what's the next step. Okay? First of all, sa rectangle muna tayo. So, you know, for the area of the rectangle, it's as easy as ABC. Furthermore, it's a walk in the park. Length times width. We know that the length is 8 centimeters, diba? And the width is 9 centimeters. So, 8 times 9. So, therefore, ang area ng rectangle ay 72 square centimeters. Okay? Or cm squared. Okay? 72 square meters ang area ng rectangle. At hindi ba yan tatatapos? Dahil, meron tayong triangle, as si Tatsulok. So, when we have a triangle here, we need to solve for the area of the triangle. Ano? Gusto mo kugunin mo yung area ng rectangle such that what you go is it even includes the triangle? Hindi ah. Kasi po, when we play the game of area of the shaded region, ang kukunin namin yung area ng rectangle such that in-exclude namin yung triangle. It means to say we are only getting this part. The one where whatever I'm coloring in right now. And so if I cannot color in the entire thing, basta ito yun. Everything were shaded. If everything were shaded from here to here, tapos what is important, hindi na siya shade yung triangle. Tapos yun ang hanapin namin. So here's how we solve. Next of all, let's go now to the triangle. Uh-oh! For the sake of a triangle, look! Diba? Remember if you look at my previous problem here, meron tayong right angle. Kaya lang for the sake of this one, Meron ba tayong right angle dito? Wala. Because since it's an equilateral triangle, therefore, every angle should measure 60 degrees. So typically, we don't have a right angle unless... Ayaw ko pala. Di ba remember? We need to have a height. Because the formula of zone for the area of a triangle is always base times height. So kung ito yung base, ito dapat yung height. Ayaw ko pala. Di ba remember sa tingin mo sa mga estudyante ko, naisipan nila... Now, what you call is ito yung what you call is ito yung ano yun? Yung height. Hindi ah, that's just the, that's just the, ano yun? That's just the, ano yun? That's just the slope. Ayun pala, speaking about that, I forgot pala. We will also solve for the perimeter pala of the rectangle. To solve for the perimeter of the rectangle, add up everything. Or, there's a shortcut. Alam mo ba yung 2L plus 2W? Ano yung ibig sabihin yun? Ibig sabihin yung 2L is twice the length. Di ba yung member meron kayo isang length dito? Tapos, since you have an opposite length that has the same measure, or that is congruent, i-double mo. Tapos, you have a width that measures 9 cm, and your opposite width measures 9 cm. Now, to solve for the perimeter, ito yung formula namin. Isulat ko dito. So, 9, then this one, this is the width 2L, di ba? And then, 8, 2, width. Simplify na namin. We get 18 here, we get 16 here. 
add everything up, 34 cm. Don't forget to include your units, okay? So our area, so the perimeter of the rectangle is 34 cm. Ang area namin ay 72, 72 cm. Ayaw mo pala, cm squared. Do you know? Yan. Now for the triangle, for the equilateral triangle naman, when it comes to solving for the perimeter, it's a piece of cake. You know why? It is 6 times 3 lang. Alam mo bakit? Because look oh, there are 3 sides that are congruent. Bakit kaya ka sa tingin mo mag-add mo silang lahat? It would be better if you were to apply a shortcut which is multiplication. Because multiplication is just repeated addition. Like, diba remember if you're gonna add 3, three threes? Eddie, 3 times 3, diba? Based on the number of duplicates that you see, i-group mo. So since there's 6, so there's 3 6 cm's, you have to multiply the 6 cm by 3. And your perimeter should be, the perimeter is 18 cm. Now for the area, that's the problem. We need to get the height from somewhere. So how do we get the height? You're very lucky. Kung kunin na yung height namin, it's from here to here. But if you notice that if we were to get the height here, ito you know, let's draw a line from this ruler here. Okay, we have already drawn the line. And you notice that these two triangles are congruent. But, however, we do not know what the measure of the height is. However, there's a catch. Be right back, folks. Ayan. Kung sa team mo with your protractor, di ba remember this is 60, C 60 degrees, di ba? Tapos, if you were to put it here, this is 90 degrees. So therefore, if this is 60 degrees, tapos this one is a right angle, and you measure nito? Such that it does not cover everything. We know the entire thing here measures 60 degrees. But if you want to get this one only, ano yun? Diba? This is 60 degrees. So 60, and then what you call this, ah, gets ko na, kasi po since it's congruent, and this 60 divided by 2. So tama, this is 30. And this just so happens, that it just so happens, that it implies the application of a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So, for playing the game of Pythagorean Theorem, yes, you can still play Pythagorean Theorem for that matter. Kaya lang, there's a special way, specialized way on how you can do it. Unless you're a newbie here, you have you don't need to learn it anymore. Pero yun. Okay? So, ito yun. Now, we know that this is 6 cm. So, 6 cm is this one, 6 cm is this one, and 6 cm is this one. Kaya lang, since we part the triangle into half, so we're working on this triangle. So, what should be the measure of our base? Our base is 3 centimeters na lang. Okay? So, 3 centimeters ang measure ng base. And then, we do not know what the height is. And then, we have this, this what you call this, ano yun? The slope, which we call the hypotenuse. Di ba yung members sa hypotenuse ng right triangle? The slope is what you call the hypotenuse. And that is 6. Alright? Now, when we play the Pythagorean theorem that is right here, ito yung formula. Ang base i3 squared, di ba? This is the base. And then we do not know what the height is. So that's b squared. And then c squared, oops. And then c squared is, ano yun? 6 squared. Ama. Now, we call, simplify the exponents. Making this 9, b squared, just leave it like b squared itself. Tapos 6 squared, and 36. Now, we isolate the terms. Just like what you do in algebra. Alright? Alright? Now we're stuck at b squared is equivalent to 27. Ito na yan. To, take, to get rid of the square root, we need we, to get rid of the square in the b, we need to take the square root of that number, which is 27. Okay? Ayaw mong bala, do you notice that 27 can't be taken out by a square root? However, you can also play the game called simplifying radical expressions. Such that if this is 20, the square root of 27 can be simplified to applying prime factorization, you get something like this. Ito yun, di ba? 3 times square root of 9. 3 times 9 is 27. Then the square root of, then the, then the number 9 can be taken out by a square root. So therefore, ganito na lang ko, ganito na lang lamang. It's just 3 times the square root of 3. So yun na yung height namin. So our height will just become 3 times the square root of 3. So if we go back to this formula, ito na yung height namin. 3 times square root of 3. So do you notice it kind of makes sense? That's the, that's the, triangle configuration of 30, 60, 90 degree triangles. It's always, the short leg is always x 
Tapos, this one is 2x since it's 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, 2x. Two times the twice the measure of the short leg. And this one here is the, height, is the height. The height or the long leg is always the value of the short leg times the square root of 3. Now, we solve for the area. To solve for the area of the triangle, you know it's base times height divided by 2, di ba? So, remember, ang base namin, hindi ito yung base, hindi yung 3cm. Ang tunay na base ay ang entire thing, which is literally 6. So, 6cm yung base. Then, times the height, which is 3 times the square root of 3. Tapos, ano yung sagot namin? Okay, so I think we got the area of 23.28 square cm. Kapag ginawa ko ito sa Microsoft Excel, ito yung area. So, ang area namin ay... 23.38 square cm. Teka lang ah. Basta yun. Cm squared na lang. Okay? Kaya lang di ba tayo dyan tat natatapos. Because remember, we are asked to get the area of this entire rec of the rectangle such that it excludes the equilateral triangle. So what we do now? That's right! The area of the big minus the area of the small. Because, diba, remember, the area of the big is the entire thing, such that it covers up the triangle. But since we got the area of the triangle, we need to erase that so that we can get the area of the entire rectangle such that it does not in even include the area of the triangle. So now we have this formula. 72, which is the area of the rectangle, minus, ano yung nakuha namin? 23.28. Okay? 0 minus 8, 2. 0, 2. So therefore, that's gotta be, what you call this, 9. 7, 11 minus 3, 8, that was 4. So therefore, this is 48.72. So therefore, ito yung sagot namin. 48.72 squared cm. So that's the area of this rectangle such that it does not include the area of the triangle. Yun lang. I hope this video had helped you. Leave a like if you do like this video. Stay safe and kaya mo yan sa grades mo. Peace out. Good luck ka na sa pag-aaral mo.